Hello everyone this is my next video today i'm going to explain with code question number 1071 greatest common divisor of string okay what the given question for two strings s and t we say t divides s if and only if s equals to t plus so on plus t up to i where t is concatenated with itself one or more times okay given two strings string 1 and string 2 we need to return the largest string x such that x divides both string 1 and string 2 okay in the example what they given they given string 1 na abc abc and string 2 is abc and the output is returning abc okay in the example 2 what they given string 1 consists of ab 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 string 2 is ab ab and the output is returning ab in the example 3 the string 1 is lit l e e t and string 2 is code c o d e and the output is returning empty string let's briefly understand this question in the whiteboard okay see what the given question the given uh, string 1 consists of a b c a b c and string 2 consist of a b c okay first what i am doing if both the string string 1 and string 2 if are equal means just i am returning the string 1 means if string 1 is equals to equals to string 2 means what i will do i will return string 1 means a b c a b c here equals to equals to a b c If both are similar, means just I will return this string. But they are not similar, so I will check other condition. So what I done afterwards, I take an another if condition. I I I I added the string one and string two. I will compare with string two and string one. Means string one plus string two I will add. If it is not equals to string two plus string one, if it is not equal, means I will return empty string. If A B C A B C plus string two is A B C. Okay, I will compare. It should be not equals to A B C plus A B C A B C. This is string one. This is string two. This is string two. String one. See, these are equal. If it is not equal, means I will return empty. This is empty. Okay. These are equal. So I will check other condition. See, first we can first we can understand string one dot size is how much is there? Here yeah, string one dot size is six. Okay. And string two dot size is three. Okay. now we can check the condition now what they told string 1 dot size is less than string 2 dot size this so string 1 dot size is 3 6 and string 2 dot size is 3 <coughs> this condition become false so we will not update our string 2 now we can check this condition string 2 size is 3 and string 1 is 6 3 3 is less than 6 yeah this condition is true we are updating string 1 see string 2 size is what 3 right we are doing str 1 dot sub str we are applying string to size is 3 we are saying in string 1 string 1 what is there a b c a b c okay what doing up to we are going to the third element these we will remove we will write returning this one now our str 1 will be a b c okay now we are returning gcd of string str 1 and str 2 this is we are calling recursively again okay now we are our string 1 value will be now A B C. Our string two value also be A B C. Okay, string one A B C and string two we not updated. It will be A B C only. See now what is happening. A B C is equals to A B C. Yeah, this condition is true. We are returning string one. String one means A B C. You can observe. Okay, this is the logic. Now I will go with second example for proper understanding. See here, string one is A B A B A B and string two is A B A B. First, what I am doing, I am checking in the example two. I will take an string one equals to a b a b a b and string two is a b a b. First, what I will do, I will check string one is equals to equals to string two. I will compare two strings. Yeah, these two strings are not equal because this size is six and this size is four. We can tell this is not equal. Now, what I will do, I will add string one. String one, what is there? A b a b a b plus a b a b is not equals to a b. A B plus A B A B A B. This is string one. This is string two. This is string two. This is string one. Yeah. This is if this is not equal means just I will return empty. But these are equal, so I will not return anything. Okay. What I will do? I will check these conditions now. See so string one. String one size is six here, and the string two dot size is four. Okay. Let's check the condition. String one size is 
6 and 4. Yeah, this condition is false, so we are not updating our string to. Now we can check other this condition now. String 2 size is 4 and string 1 size is 6. Yeah, this condition is true, so we are updating our string 1. This string 1, what they are telling? str1 dot sub str uh, taking function str2 dot size is string dot size is 4. Okay, what we are doing? str1 dot sub str is 4 in string 1. String 1 is a b a b a b. See, up to we are going fourth index, we are removing this. Okay, it is string 1 is updated now. A B. Now our string 1 is A B and our string 2 is same A B A B. Now we are checking the condition. See, these are not equal. Now we will add uh, I will show you A B plus A B A B is equal to A B A B plus A B. Yeah, this condition is uh, false become because these are equal. So we are not at a time to check the condition out. Now our uh, string 1 will be 2 and string 2 will be 4. Now we are checking say string 2, uh, string 1 is 2 and string 2 is 4. Yeah, this condition is true. So we are updating now string 2. Our string 2 will be now. String 1 is what there? 2. We are checking in here A, B, A, B. This is string 2. Okay. Up to we are going to elements, we are removing this one. This will be updated now, our A, B. String 1 is also A, B. Okay. Now we are returning GCD of string string one comma string two. Yes, string we are calling again here. So string one is A B and string two is also A B. Finally, we can return string one. String one is A B. So you can observe. Okay. This is the logic of this code. Now we can enter into the coding part how it is going to work. We can see. In this logic, what I done? We given GCD of string as function and passing the parameters of string one and string two of string type. Okay. After that, I am checking string 1 and string 2. Both are equal. If both are equal, means this I will return string 1. Okay. If not, means what I will do? I will add string 1 and string 2. I will compare with string 2 and string 1. After adding, if both are equal, means I will not return anything. If both are not equal, means I will return empty. Afterwards, I will check the two conditions. If string 1 size is uh, less than string 2, means if string 2 is more, means string 2 will, I will update. If string 1 size is uh, larger, means I will update string 1. What I will do, I will again I will return GCD of string 1 and comma string 2, I will call. Okay, this again it will be going the process. Already I showed the uh, first and second logic how it is going to work in the whiteboard. Now we can dry run with third example. See, third example what the string 1 is. String 1 is L E E T. Okay, and string 2 is C O D E. Okay, see what I am doing now. These are not equal. So we will not return anything. See, now string 1. See, string 1, what is there? L, E, E, T. Plus string 2 is what? C, O, D, E. E should be not equal to string 2, what is there? C, O, D, E. Plus L, E, E, T. See, we will come to know that these two are not matching. So, finally, we are returning the empty. This is. Let's uh, run the code. Yeah, it is accepted solution, okay? Yeah, now we can discuss the time complexity and space complexity. The time complexity is of uh, time complexity of this logic taking big of uh, big of n by m. Here we can consider n is the length of string one and m is the length of string two, and it is taking uh, time of big of n by m. Okay, where space complexity is taking big of one because we are not taking any extra space; it takes only the constant amount of space. Okay, there is other logic with by using the GCD that I will show now. Yeah, this logic by using GCD, okay. Uh, what I am done here, I am checking the condition here. I am adding string 1 and string 2. It should be not equals to after adding string 2 plus string 1. If they are not equal means just I will return empty. Okay, if if both are equal means I will return uh, this one. Okay, how it is going to work? Let's see. Let's dry run the code. I will go with first example, okay. Your first example, str1 is taking a, b, C, A, B, C and string 2 is taking A, B, C. What I will do? First, I will add string 1 and string 2. It should be not equal to string 2 plus string 1. Okay. See here. A, B, C, A, B, C plus A, B, C. It should be not equal to A, B, C plus 
a b c a b c this is one this is two this is two this is one yeah these are equal so we are not returning any empty now we are will work on this okay we are returning now first we can find out gcd of this one here gcd of string one size is six and string two size is three okay see there is a formula to find gcd so gcd of six comma three there is a formula uh, we need to find absolute of six into three by divided by lcm of six lcm of six comma three okay Absolute means positive. Okay, six is a eighteen. LCM of six comma three is six. We are getting GCD of six comma three is three. Okay. So now what I am doing? I am taking str uh, str one dot sub str zero comma. We got it as three. Okay. Uh, in the in the string one we need to take A B C. A B C. We are going from zero to index to one, two, three. We are taking inclusive of zero, exclusive of three. Means we are not up to. We are taking this much. This much we are returning. A B C. So you can observe the output. Now we will go with second example. See second example. What they are taking? String string one will consist of A B A B A B A B A B. String two is A B A B. Now I will go with this one. Now. We are adding a b a b a b plus a b a b. It should be not equals to a b a b plus a b a b a b. Yeah, but these are equal. Okay, so we are not returning here anything. Just we are returning s t r one dot sub s t r. Okay, how it is meant? See, first we are finding g c d. String one dot size here six. String two dot size here We are finding the form uh, GCD of six comma four. Uh, absolute of six into four divided by LCM of six comma four. Six into four is twenty four. LCM of six four is twelve. Twelve one side twelve two side. Okay, we are getting two GCD. We are getting two. Okay. Now what I will do? Do we are taking str one dot sub str zero to two. String uh, consists of a b, a b, a b. We are going up to zero, one, two. We are written a b. Okay. Now I will go with third example. Third example, what they told? Yeah, string one consists of l e e t, and string two consists of c o d e. Okay. Here, yeah, uh, I will add this one. L e e t. Plus C O D E is it? It should be not equals to C O D E plus lit. Yeah, these are not equal, so we are returning empty. Uh, by using this idea, we work on this logic. Let's discuss the time complexity and the space complexity by using G C D. Okay, the time complexity is thinking P C O F L O F M E N. Here we can take n comma m. I will tell string one is n and string two is m for shortcut. Okay, and space complexity is taking big of one. Okay, uh, why it is taking big of log min n comma m means here where n is the length of string one and m is the length of string two. Uh, okay, we are using the substring as function. It is taking big of min n comma m. Total it takes time big of log min. Uh, n comma n, which is minimum that will be taken, and space complexity is big of one because we use only constant amount of space. Just we are uh, not using any extra space, so it is taking space complexity of big of one. Thank you guys for watching my video.